Ah, uh, welcome back to the pod, you guys. I feel good. Yodi is on a is on a specific energy this morning. Yeah, I feel good. You know why? Why? Because the sun is shining right now, and I know as soon as we're done with this, mm-hmm. I'm heading out. Yeah, but we got shit to do. I know. So, you know how I like to take a walk around the block first, and then get back to work. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. After the pod, we gotta just like take a second. Yeah. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling. You know, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't lie. We don't lie on the phone. I woke up on some stressed shit today. I know, and I could see it. That's why I left you alone. I woke up on, and lately, as soon as I, when I go to bed, I go to bed and fall asleep thinking about the shit that I got to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I wake up immediately with the same thought of like running down the list of the things that I have to do today. Because it's a lot of things. I don't really like waking up that way. Yeah. I don't know if there's a way around it. But it used to not be like that also. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we need to, the last few months for me have been on a daily. I'm just kind of waking up with the list in my head. I don't like that. And you ever like woke up in the morning and then you feel like you just been thinking all night? Yeah, we talk about that all the time. Sometimes. It's like you wake up and then you're tired already. Yeah, because I feel like while I was asleep, I was stressing over the shit that I got to yeah. do tomorrow. That's my brain good. like didn't stop thinking even though i don't remember exactly what it was thinking about i just can i wake up without a mind that felt like was at rest yeah i know yeah. there's definitely someone out there listening to this and they know exactly how to fix that yeah you only got a fresh fresh hairdo you didn't have to put me on the spot i, I was mean just, we are all thinking it i was just i was just trying to come in here and just do what we do every week but then i mean it's not a big deal no, it's not a big deal this is something that happens maybe every what three months i want to say it should happen more often it should happen more often yeah. yeah you always stretch out your your hair for a little bit too long where i feel like you could have done stretch out your hair what do you mean by that because like you stretch out the length of time that goes to by get it done. without you getting your your hair tightened yeah or what is it twisted retwisted retwisted yeah um so then you have like this period of time where your hair could be could be like tighter you know? yeah, yeah yeah no i get it i get it it was um like there's like a full month where you're like oh i don't like my hair whatever but you're not doing shit about but that's it. why i always wear like the head like the headband yeah but there's a point to where it's kind of like not even the headband is not even doing it you know it is Anyways, I feel good today. I feel rejuvenated. I just had some candy earlier, so that usually gives me like a lot of. Is your mic not good yet? Yeah, no, it's good. Okay. Uh, today we are going to actually wait. Hold on. What's up? Welcome back to the What's the Juice <laughs> <What's> podcast. <up? laughs> my uh, name is Alia Zaitza. I am one is, of your hosts. And my name is Yoni Kota. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I thought all good. <laughs> sometimes you say my name is Alia Zaitza, and sometimes you say my name is Alia Zaitza. Your host. It's Obviously. okay. I'm sure people love it when you interrupt me. Obviously, I think so. Yeah, it's like yeah, Yoni, get back at her. <laughs> I think so, and sometimes I do it on purpose. So if you ever see me interrupting Alia, it's me doing it on purpose to kind of like get some points back. Oh my God. From season one and two. Okay, listen, I don't interrupt you on purpose. No, I'm just... Like, I'm not like, I'm not sure. giving a shit about what you're saying. No, 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 sometimes I, I just like to come in with it, you Sometimes know? you just like to... No, and it's good for the podcast. I mean, people hate on me for it, though. That's true. Um, That's true. So just so you guys know, okay, I, I'm, wor- I'm working on it. It's- You've been doing a lot better, though. I mean, yeah, compared to like compared the to season, season one, uh, yeah, season one or okay. okay I mean, se- season one, you just weren't really like Yo, in the pod shit yet. No, you were figuring out how to be a podcast. Season one, I didn't even know how to talk. <laughs> yeah. Um, today is a podcast about our trip to Hudson, New York. Yes. And well, basically, what I'm what I wanted to do, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you're 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 down for that too, is take you guys. If you ever listened to the San Fran <laughs> episode, right? I don't know. Like the San Fran episode is so the like, San Fran episode was five hours long. Okay, not actually. It was like over two hours, okay. which is wild. Figure of speech, right? Like over two hours long. And we took you down the list of day one. To day five? We were there for a few days. Yes, but not even day one there. It was like day one leaving yeah. where we and were. And we took you through like every single thing we did, which I don't know if we necessarily want to do that. I we, think I want to do talk about like the highlights, the main I points. Want, I want to do that. It's fine. Okay, maybe we can do like a little bit of an in between. Because if I'm listening to a podcast, I would love that. Tell me 
What time you got an Uber to get to the airport? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we did go to Hudson. So basically this trip came about because um, it was kind of through my YouTube work. I got offered a complimentary stay at a home um, that's kind of like a luxury home that is like kind of like a hotel vibe, but in a vacation home setting. So it was super cool, great opportunity because I've we've never, I've never, and we've never experienced any type of trip like this or a home or- I never experienced any type of luxury like that. Exactly. So <laughs> it's like anybody would say yes to that. Are you kidding me? You're just gonna let me stay here for a few days for free? Like, that's amazing. Yeah. So all we had to do is obviously just find a way to like get there and we had to take the train. Yes, taking a train, and that's the first time we actually take the train in New York. From New York, yeah. From New York or in New York. I never took the train from here to anywhere, is what I'm saying. That's what I just said, from New York. Oh, okay. And <laughs> um, and what train was it? It was, I mean, we went to Penn Station. Yes, Which Penn was really Station? cool because it's, I feel like Penn Station is so like... But I didn't know, how, I didn't realize how big Penn Station was. Yeah. Like I would only uh, hear about it on, in like movies, shows, but then yeah. actually just being there. So this is what happened, right? Just real quickly about the, uh, the train station. We we didn't know where our our lane was, right? Yeah, like where, what track our train was yeah, going to be Yeah, we didn't on. know. So then we found out that it was downstairs and it was like gate, G five or something. So what happened was when we got to the to the train station, it was kind of I think we were like maybe twenty minutes before the departure. I think we were leaving at five or three twenty, and we got there at three or something. I don't know. Yes. And uh, we get there and we look at the big screen to see what track we have to go to, and it, for our train, it said on time, but it didn't say a track number. So we were like, okay, it's we probably got, like still updating. So let's go get some food. Yeah, we had time to go get some food, just um, relax. And then and getting then, some food took like maybe five minutes. And then as soon as we got the food, we, we got Evergreen, by the way. No, we didn't. They don't have Evergreen here. What did we get? It's called Naya or something. It's like a Mediterranean. Wait, where did we get Evergreen then? In Seattle, where we're in the airport. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, the Penn Station looks like an airport. That's why I, I oh, got Oh, yeah. Confused. Also, the Penn Station, I think the Penn Station is like kind of big, but the, the hall that we were in was like the Moynihan, Moyn something like that Moynihan, hall. Moynihan, yeah. <laughs> and it was so nice. I've never seen a train station like that. It looks that. like an airport. It looks like an airport. That's why I got real. confused with the food. You're right, you're right. Um, and by the time we got our food, which is like five minutes later, we saw that the track was track number five. Mm-hmm. And then we couldn't find it. So we basically like walked in one direction to find it to then realize that everybody had lined up and we ended up walking all the way back. To where we were. To where we were to like, get our food. Exactly. That was pretty frustrating. But And the reason why, I mean, I didn't mind waiting at all. In what? The lane? In, the line? Yeah, in line. I didn't mind waiting. But the frustrating thing was once we finally got in the train, we couldn't sit together. We were... Because all the spots were, were taking. Yeah. Well, okay. One thing that bothers me is when, like, is it acceptable that when you board a train, which doesn't have assigned seats, you just sit wherever. Mm -hmm. If you are a solo traveler and you find a seat with two, because it's like two by twos, right? Right. If I'm a solo traveler and there's plenty of open seats, I'll go sit... Obviously, by myself, I'm not going to sit next to another solo traveler. Right. I'm going to sit by myself. But then if I see a couple that clearly is together and they want to sit together and there's so many single travelers that are just taking up a whole two seats, is it acceptable for me as a traveler with another person asking yeah. the solo traveler, hey, do you mind if... Uh, we have these two seats together. You can't do that. Why? You can't do that because they don't care about you. But also, like, you're traveling by yourself. You don't need two seats to yourself. No, but this is my travel experience. You don't know how they were looking forward to just being on a train. Like, being on a train is fun. Just because, oh, I want to sit next to my partner. Like, they're like, okay, you should have got in line earlier. That was our fault. What's crazy is how did it, all these people in five minutes, everybody saw that it was track five and everybody lined up. I know, right? That line came out. It, it built like so fast because we so didn't see fast. it at first. No. Or maybe we just didn't pay attention to it. But also, 
it didn't say that our train was track five. Oh, right. I don't understand how they knew that. Whatever. So, so we didn't sit together on the train. Yeah, we weren't, but we did sit like next to each other, but there was just like the, the lane. Yeah, we were on us. the aisle seat. Yeah. And it was fine. I sat next to someone. Yeah, it was she whatever. Was, she was cool, but I really wanted to sit next to you. But I don't think you should ever ask anyone, hey, do you mind sitting next to this stranger? So automatically you want the person you're asking. I mean, she, to I'm going to sit next to her and I'm going to be a stranger to this person. Yeah, I know. But she's sitting by the window. Usually the person you're asking that they're sitting by the window. They're enjoying the view. And now you're telling them to get up and go sit next to someone that they don't know. And they won't be by the window. And it's just going to be like, I'm, I'm making, I'm taking my experience away just to give you like, a, just because you want to sit next to your partner. That doesn't make sense. I would never get up for someone like that. Unless it's like a kid and his mom. Another thing too, is that the person that was sitting next to me wasn't actually sitting there when we got there. They put their shit down. Yeah. On that chair. Yeah. And claimed that chair. I mean, yeah, she and went to the bathroom. And then they went to the bathroom. Yeah. I should have just moved her shit. You should have just moved it. Yeah. No. Yeah. You don't do that. You you now you're just you're just potting right now. That's not true. You're just playing. So yeah, fun train ride. Uh, there's no food. Obviously, this is. There not actually like is. A, there's a cafe cart they can go to. It's like in the middle of the train, and you can go get food and stuff there. Oh, you knew that? Yeah. But it's probably not good. Okay. Oh, this is what it was. We got food. We actually didn't finish the food in the train station. We we ate the food on the train. Yeah, I got it to eat it on the train. Okay. For some reason, when you were telling the story, I was thinking that, that we ate it there, but we didn't, right? No. So I remember exactly what we got. It was a big-ass bowl of like some chicken, hummus, salad. It was amazing, right? Right, So yeah. I sit there, and I can smell the bag. Okay? okay, Yoni has this thing. Hold on. Let me tell my side of the story, and then you can tell yours, right? I sit down next to this lady. She was very nice. and I don't want to keep saying she was very nice. She was asleep the whole time. No, 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 no. She was, she was cool. She okay. was cool. Don't hate on her. No, you. but you're saying it as if you talk to her. Yeah, I know. I talked to her maybe like twice. So anyways, I sit down with my food and then um, I can smell like, I can smell the food. Our food. Our food. Okay. Alia had her bag and I had mine. Or maybe they were both on my side. It was like a Mediterranean bowl. So yeah. it had a lot of like veggies, rice, so chicken. I have a problem. Here's my problem, okay? I don't like being the person who eats food that smells very very good but also very strong i don't think that food the whole that strong. yes it did the whole train would have smelled like the food but the food wasn't like some pungent ass shit though Dang. <laughs> no you're acting as if we were eating something that was super i don't know what's like a very kind of strong smelling food but what to we me, were eating truly wasn't no to me it, it was wasn't. all like fresh it was rice it was hummus and a bunch of different things nah, with vegetables and chicken that chicken had some good seasoning on it okay <laughs> but what are you supposed to eat like water so anyways i open it and then i just feel like but it smelled really good so i'm just like whoever is smelling this is like damn whatever he's eating is fire so anyways but, I don't why know. do we what do you expect i don't know why stuff like that bothers me i don't i never want to be on an airplane being the person who, who eats what's the thing beef jerky oh yeah i get beef jerky on the train all the time, all the time. All so ali doesn't care about that she goes somewhere in a small tight space airplane or 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 anything that there's strangers around and she would just eat and you know there's nothing wrong with that i just don't understand why do we expect people to eat shit that doesn't smell strong or doesn't smell like food, whatever it is. I don't, because sometimes I have this like sense of, I don't want to. Disturb someone else through your smell? Yeah. And I almost asked the lady next to me, I was, I was about to say, do you mind if I eat? But then I thought to myself, like, that's kind of stupid. Like, I'm hungry. Yeah. And this is my food and it smells good and it's great. If you want some, I'll give you some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, for some reason, really don't care about that. It's like, we're all here together, people with their stinky feet. And stinky feet? I mean, I'm just saying it's like we're crammed in a tight space, whether it's a train is a little bit bigger, I would say. A plane is really like, you know, you have you to press You sound like air. we're somewhere in the back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm just saying that I feel like I'm not going to I'm not going to not get if I'm if I'm craving like curry or something like oh my God. very like strong smelling but delicious is I'm not I'm not going to not get that because oh I'm going to be on a on a plane and I don't want people to smell my food it's like what Let us know if this is something that crosses your mind because I think about that 
it crosses my mind. That's and you, every time Yoni doesn't let me get beef jerky on a plane, and I don't care. Because then people looking at me like, "Damn man, you can hold it." Can hold, hold what? It? We're on yeah. this train plane ride for like six hours. I don't know the way. I don't know. This is how my brain thinks. Okay? okay, I think about that, and you just don't. Well, I'm gonna let my kid eat whatever they want on the, on the plane or the train. Yeah, yeah. I mean, def- I, I, you should always eat whatever you want. But I'm just saying, this is something that crosses my mind. That's it. All right. Okay. Um. Anyways, so then well, the train ride was like two and a half hours, two hours. It was nice, uh, very calming, really nice views. You know what's crazy? I never. There were so many mountains on the way to upstate New York. I didn't know mountains? that there were. Yeah. I, at least on my side. You didn't see any mountains? I mean, I would call it more hills than mountains. No, no, no. That shit was not a hill. A hill? A hill. <laughs> it was not a hill. It was it was hills, babe. Mountains no. are like tall. Yeah, that shit was tall, babe. <laughs> okay. It was, that's a really big hill then. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Am I saying it right? <laughs> no, I think it's just funny. It was really Anyways, cute. beautiful views. And then... Yeah, it was, was really relaxing. I feel like it makes me want to take the train other places too. Yeah, me too. I want to take the train down to Philly. I want to go to DC. I want to go down to like as far south as I can really. With it, the train? I think trains are like the safest way to travel. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're the safest. Safer, safer than airplanes. I feel like they might be better for the environment than it, Exactly. So... Take but it takes train. a while. I like it. It's fine. But at the same time, there's so much I had enough, to do. I had enough space. Yeah, the leg space is different. Leg space if is you nice. Take, if you go we, one time, we should try to take a train that's far enough where you have to like be in a sleeping car. Hmm. Like a sleeper train? Oh my train? God, I would love that. Because train doesn't, there's no turbulence on the train. <laughs> there I mean, is no, it jiggles. It jiggles? jiggles a little bit. <laughs> the train jiggles? Yeah. Um, Sound like anyways, smooth. it's nice. And then uh, obviously I had my headphones all charged up. I was listening to whatever I was listening to. I was trying to do some work, but I don't think I got anything done. The first time, I feel like on the way back. Because by the time done. by the time I was ready to start doing some work after eating and all that, we were almost there. Yeah. <laughs> it was like 20 minutes left. Um, And then we arrived. And as obviously we took the train because we don't have a car in New York. Because why? We don't need one. Yeah. Um, and we didn't know much about Hudson, what it was like. I Googled. I did a little bit of research that it's a small town, whatever. But I didn't realize how small. And also, basically, when I got offered this home stay, to stay at this home, there's like, it's a really cool, you know, website. And they have a lot of guidance on like what to do, how to get there, blah, 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 all these things. Mm-hmm. And based on like what they said, they made it seem as if taxis and just traveling there, even though they don't have Uber or Lyft or any of those things, mm-hmm. taxis are available for you to travel around the city with. It seemed like that. Yeah, they, it said that. It's okay. It said that, like it presented that as like it's an option if you need so the first thing, so me knowing that knowledge, I was like, okay, so I planned our little itinerary. As soon as we get off the train, there was a little wine shop. As you guys know, Alia is the planner and I am I just kind of show up for the vibes. Yes. Um. So there was a, this cute little wine shop, really good. It's called Grapefruit Wines. If you guys are ever in, they have a really cool selection. Mm-hmm. So we walk in there with our little luggage and bags and stuff. We grab a two bottles of wine to have with us. We're there for four days no three days yeah and we had one bag just to give people context we had one bag and then i had like my camera bag well yeah we had one carry-on one carry-on and then on. we each had a bag yeah and the, and and the wtj tote okay I mean, we didn't bring that one what we didn't bring the wtj no tote, we right? didn't <laughs> you just wanted to add that in there i don't know i feel like everyone should have one <laughs> um and then on my little map, it said that the grocery st- there w- there was a gourmet grocery store five minute walk away can you away. define gourmet for people who might not know what that means yeah, gourmet i feel like that's in many languages the same word okay fine gourmet okay don't get mad at me if you don't know what that is gourmet like how do you translate that super yummy <laughs> <laughs> artisanal okay. uh made in-house you okay. know like just more expensive and better quality it wasn't like costco you know yeah so it said it's five minutes away but as we're walking towards after we grab our wine we're, you know, carrying our bags, got our carry-on. And we realized, like, this really is not the country, but it's like a town. 
It's a very, very small town. It's like a village. Sure. It's like a like, spread out village. Yeah. Like each and, house has like a and, mile between. And there's just kind of randomness in between it. In between things. Like when we were walking towards the, just grass. the grocery store. Yeah. So it kind of looked funny because we if you drove by us, you would think to yourself, damn, these people just like hop off the train, but they ain't got because you don't you basically you need a car to be yeah. there. So we walked from the wine store to the grocery store. Yes. That walk was the most random walk I ever had in my That's life. That's what I'm saying. Because, it seemed like people shouldn't walk here. Yeah, if you dro- if you dro- just like Alia said, if you drove by us, it really looked like we just got dropped off and we don't know where to go. We had yeah. a carry on with us too. It's like It just looks something's off. Yeah, and you can tell we're not from there. <laughs> 100 percent um so anyways we end up finding the grocery store we ended up having to like take some back stairs up on this hill it was random i got a photo i'm gonna insert right here um but we made it to the gourmet grocery store which is closing in an hour so we had an hour to like look in there and this wasn't really a grocery store it was kind of just like a store with cheese bread i feel like they only had cheese and, and bread. like a bunch of random little Salami things some selection. desserts but it was not a place where you get like your groceries to cook at home it was more like you can get things that they've prepared there you can get some cheese which we got anyways because i wanted it for our wine yeah and that was about it they had anything they have everything you need for like a cheese board like a cute snack yes it was like a grocery store of just snacks yes exactly so we couldn't really get the groceries that we wanted there which which is which is fine and then the plan was to take a taxi from the grocery store mm-hmm. all the way to our house that which we were is, staying at which is how which was like seven minute drive okay and when we were ready we like looked around whatever we got the cheese and stuff that we wanted and they had these little benches in the grocery store so we sit down with all of our bags and our little snacks all right let's find a taxi right yeah and i basically stopped start you know telling yoni okay this is the number for i had like a bunch of numbers for taxis in the area and yoni calls Mm -hmm. then what happened i called the first lady was like uh so where do you go i tell her the address where we're from i mean where we're staying at you know yeah and then she was like oh um i don't even know where that is i'm in baltimore i'm like Oh, Jesus. Okay, thank you. Like, what are you going to say, right? Yeah, she hangs up. We call a bunch of other ones. She was so rude, too. Like, she she was very rude. She just hung up. I mean, there was nothing. She's like, yeah, this is the wrong city. It's the wrong state. Yeah, but just be nice. Like, so other people help me out, you know? Anyways, we called a bunch of other numbers. Yeah. And finally, well, actually, we didn't find anything that we, that you had saved. Everybody said... Everybody was like, oh, yeah, like this, you know, we're in Hudson Valley, blah, blah, blah. But everybody wanted to do long distances. Like nobody wanted to do like come to Hudson and then they all drive wanted for to, five minutes. Yeah. They all wanted to like drive to New York or something or drive to the airport yeah, or something, something like, that. like that. So this is very frustrating because we literally the store that we were sitting in to find a taxi was closing and oh what are we supposed to do because also for us to walk there like yeah it's a five minute drive which is a tw- which is like a 20 minute walk with with everything that we were carrying i think probably more than that because you also have to walk on the highway like it's it's like a road it's not a cute oh little God. neighborhood thing that you're driving through the neighborhood like this is like you go on this road outside yeah, we really, we really, really looked lost. So we kept, I went to ask the cheese lady. I was like, do you know of any taxis here? She's like, oh, everybody drives here. So I've never had to use a taxi. Oh, and that's like, what okay, she said? Yeah. She's like, so I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'm just like, bro, what are we, I really was starting to think that we're going to have to just ask somebody that works here. Like if they can give us a ride. Give us a ride after they get off and work. And like pay them something. Because what are we, we were going to be stranded. Yeah. So, eventually, there was a uh, really nice guy that checked me out when I paid at the thing. He just seemed like the nicest out of everybody in that store. He did. He was, like, ready to talk to anybody. Yeah. And uh, he looked at us. He was, like, taking out the trash or something. And uh, I was just like, hey, you know, do you by any chance know any, like, taxi that we can call around this area? We've been calling a bunch, and they're all... uh, like not local and nobody's gonna come here and drive us and we're like staying super close but not close enough for us to walk whatever yeah. 
And what did he say? He said, I mean, he was so ready to help. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, you know, I have my, my uh, this is the taxi that I always take. I think he drops him off at work. Oh, I thought he said, like, this is a guy I call when I hang out late and need someone to drive me home. Oh, well, whatever he said, this is a guy that he calls to, that gets him around, right? Yes. And, okay, you know, it's a taxi company. He gave me the number, all that. So I call, right? I call. And then the guy was like, okay, cool. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Except, didn't you say it was like kind of hard to understand what he was saying? Oh, it was very hard because he had a a, 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 a really like strong a, accent, it was a very strong and heavy accent. So I was like, "So, um, what? Like, when are you gonna be here?" Right? Yeah. And then he he, he answered by telling me, "Oh, it's gonna be fifteen dollars." <laughs> so and I was just like, up. "So I was just like, okay, it's gonna be fifteen dollars." But but then after that, I was like damn you should probably call him back and ask if you can pay with card because i don't know why it just gave me the vibe that this is oh just a God. guy Yo, that, was that such, drives people around that was, it wasn't like a taxi yeah that was such a, a good call so he told us that it was just cash only yeah and so we were like okay let us find some cash first <laughs> so then we asked the same guy that gave us the taxi number. well actually no first i asked the cheese lady if they get do cash back at the store. And they said no. And they said no. And then I told the other guy. So basically, we went and got some cash, came back, picked us up. I didn't know what car he was in. It was just a random... Also, it was raining. And we had to go walk it was two raining. blocks while it was raining to find a corner store that had an ATM inside. Right. So then we got the cash and then we called the guy. I mean, he was already on the way. And it was a random car that we just got in it could have been anybody yeah right i mean we knew it was him because he knew we were waiting we knew it was him but who is him i don't know exactly. and it was just like him with his family car he didn't have a meter in his car he didn't have a gps <laughs> to see where we're going he didn't have a, a sign outside his car to say anything it, no that was so that's why anybody. i'm like it's just a guy that probably some people in the neighborhood know that he can just drive them around oh my god yo we get in there at not this even, point, I'm not even thinking shit. I'm thinking, thankfully, there's a car that can take us somewhere. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> but I was also thinking, like, let's... But he seemed... He was very nice. Yeah, so he seemed chill. He wasn't sketched up. Because he, if he was sketchy, I would have thought, like, okay, we need to be prepared. But he was very nice. Dropped us off. Uh, talked a little bit. And then he gets uh, he get, he gets to the house. And then he was like, oh, wow, I never, I never, got, I never got to this house. And then he was like, how much is rent here? Yeah, I know. So, like, nonchalant. <laughs> yeah. Not that it's a problem to ask, but I was just like, oh, it, it was a gift. So, I actually have no idea. Yeah, he was like, yeah, very nice. And then he dropped. And then before he left, I would say, hey, very nice to meet you, but we're going to call you back in three days. No, oh, yeah. Because we just knew that we were going to be stuck at this house. Yeah, exactly. And that would have been even worse. What? Being stuck at the house versus at the, the little center we were at. Because there's at least people there. At that house, there's nobody around. I mean, yeah, but I'd rather be stuck at the house than be stuck. Like, what are we going to do? Just take the train back? I mean, I guess that's like our only option. Exactly. Stuck at the house. How are you going to get to the train? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So anyways, and then I told him, I need your, uh, I saved his number. I asked his name and all that. I saved it like like I would save like a friend's number, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we got to the house. The other thing, once we got to the house, you know, as Yoni said, I'm the planner. I figure out the you know, all the things. And also I got this this opportunity to stay at this house through my work. So I had all the info. The house, beautiful. Yeah. The Crazy. House, the house was really nice. It was all like glass. Before we got in the house, I knew that it would be, I mean, from the outside, you can tell what a nice house. Yeah, yeah. You can right? tell that it's like not a standard home. Yeah. And it's all just one floor. So it was like big, not that big. It wasn't that big what because it? it was also filled with a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah um so we get there and we get into the little gate and the first thing i see is the pool but the pool was covered because uh, it's been raining and stuff yeah it's been raining and it wasn't like officially like open yet yeah at the time right so the first thing i noticed i don't know about you but it's all just glass from all sides right yeah like the walls are glass yes and i couldn't figure out what was the door what was a window what was just like a, 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 glass. a glass wall yeah yeah um but then obviously we figured out. We figured <laughs> we it found, out. We found the uh, door. We got inside, and after we you know looked around, oh, <laughs> looked around. After we looked around, saw the house, you know, did a little tour, put our stuff down. The next thing is to actually get some real groceries. Yeah. And I again relied on 
the guidance that was provided from this website and app that has all these phones, mm-hmm. homes, whatever, that says that grocery delivery is available. And what time did we get to the house? Do you remember? Was it uh, four o'clock? I think we got to the house around... Checking was four. I think it was after four, like closer to five. Okay. So it was around 5 p.m. And I think by the time I was actually sitting down to order groceries, it was maybe six. Mm -hmm. And it said that Instacart was available, which is like a thing that you can use to order groceries online from grocery stores that are nearby. Um, So I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit down, like put in this order, whatever. And by the time I figured out what I wanted us to order like what ingredients and stuff for what we wanted to eat and what we wanted to make. Uh, it said that it was going to take delivery. It was going to get the, it was going to get delivered at like 11 PM. Hmm. Damn. 11 so, PM. It's kind of late already to get anything. Exactly. Or I think, no, I think it might've said 10 or nine. And then it kept being pushed back to 10 yeah. and then 11. And I was like, I swear to God, if we can't get groceries here, we're gonna die. We're gonna have to leave. Yeah. Because what are we gonna do? Like call the taxi guy to drive us to a grocery store and then grocery get groceries and then have him drive us back? I know. That's so extra. That is so extra. But then again, that would have been the only thing we can do because at that point we only had snacks. We only had for that night for dinner we had cheese, bread, and wine. Well, you skipped a little bit because. We ended up not getting the groceries that night. Yeah, we didn't get the groceries that night. So we go to bed with no food. We just had like this. And honestly, I wasn't like starving. I was good. That's what I'm saying. So we ate the cheese, wine. We ate all the snacks. And bread. Yeah, all the snacks. We got like this focaccia bread and we ate half of it. Yeah, we (laughs) ate half of it. And Um, yeah, so we went to bed with no like groceries in the fridge. Yeah, And I went to bed thinking about the groceries and how it was pissing me off the fact that basically there just wasn't anyone available like to, there wasn't anyone being an Instacart delivery guy. Yeah. The bedroom was so nice too. Yeah. I would say I slept pretty good. I slept really good. That mattress was crazy. Um, Another thing too was that once it got dark in the, once it got dark outside, mm-hmm. because the whole house is made out of windows... If there were someone outside, they could see every little move that we make in the house. Yes, because like obviously the lights, there were some lights that were on. Yeah. So at nighttime, it's like I can't really see anything outside it's because there's black. no lights. Yeah, and we were also like in the you know forest in the like there there isn't buildings or anything else. And there's no gate. Like anybody could just walk and just knock on a glass window. Yeah, and see you exactly. And after living in apartments for you know so many years i'm if it was just so weird that someone could very easily have access to our front door yeah could just walk and then what like what do you do i mean i don't know it it's definitely not the type of neighborhood where some shit would go down but like also yoni the first thing he said was like why does this feel like a horror movie yo the moment we walked in i was like okay everything is glass it was just, it kind of gave me the vibe of like, you know, like one of those movies that you get an Airbnb somewhere with your friends or with your partner. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like in a town that you don't know, you don't know what people do here. You don't know if there's like a stalker in the neighborhood. You don't know waits. if they do some crazy rituals at night. <laughs> yeah. Like you don't know if there's like a crazy person in the neighborhood that's just like watching for the next person to rent a space that they could do something. Anyways, um, so that crossed my mind like as soon as we got there. But then it kind of disappeared, you know, like I was watching the basketball game. We were trying to figure out what to eat and stuff like that. But at nighttime, yep. it came back. But luckily, we, we can we can um, lower the, the blinds. Yeah, so. we figured out how to close all the blinds. And even though they're not like 100% black, they definitely take away a lot of that. It was like one just... button and the whole house just goes like dark. It was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it was a really cool like smart home. Yeah. The next day, I wake up with groceries on my mind. <laughs> Yo, that's so funny. Like, you woke up before me. Yeah. When I woke up, I look over and Ali's like this, just like scrolling. <laughs> Trying to figure out this grocery shit, you yeah. know? And uh, eventually, I put in the groceries thing that I had to. I put in the order and I just let it go again. I canceled the previous order and then put in another one. 
And because um, the last one, the, the night before, it says that groceries will be delivered around midnight or something. And then after that, it just goes to 10 a.m. or like, 9 a.m. Between want, 8 and 10 a.m. We don't want anybody coming over here at midnight. Yeah, I mean, we're still awake. But either way, I, I just knew that the more like it was going to keep p- being pushed back, but nobody was available to deliver it. So mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. And the store closes, too. I know, right? Like, where are you going to shop? <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, I wake up with groceries on my mind. The order is put in. It's It says it's going to be here at 8. Then it says 9. Then it says 10. And then finally, some guy, Christopher, shout out to Christopher, says, Christopher, blah, 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 is shopping for your order. So, I was just That's so like, excited. I felt like I couldn't even settle in and be relaxed where we were without yeah. having groceries. Yeah. But once we got the groceries, we went outside. I, uh, you know, picked up the groceries, and then he was a very nice guy. You know, I was yeah. like, Christopher, I had to make sure it's him. <laughs> I was, Who else would it I be? I was like Christopher, and I was like, yeah, you know, make sure one of these bags is broken or whatever. So took it, went inside, and then I feel like our vacation kind of started. Yeah, 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 yeah. The whole morning we also like did a bunch of work because we were there from Sunday to Wednesday, yeah. so we were there beginning of the week um so we still had like some work to do but for some reason like being there at that house felt like even though i wasn't mad that i had some like work to do no me neither because it was so calm I was the excited. house was so big and bright and for some reason i was more focused you ever seen like a really nice uh office or like a nice house and this is something i think about all the time i'm like man like I would get all my work done in this mm. house, or like, and you I, just feel like you can, like yeah, exactly. I don't know. <laughs> like I would just finish everything I have to do on that beautiful desk. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing about the nighttime, like being being in the evening and just having like everything we do just exposed. Yeah, through the windows. Yes, my sister FaceTimes me, okay. and she asks me where are you at, and I show her around. And she was like, wow, this is really nice. But the first thing she observed was that our, all, all the windows are just open. Like anybody can just see you. And she was thinking the same thing. See, this is my sister. She, we were thinking about the same thing. She was like, you don't think that's like weird or scary or like that's- somewhat dangerous? The fact that anybody could just see you and just walk up to your window or door. Yeah. Even though everything was locked, it's still scary. Yeah. Um, and at that time we were in the pool. It was a beautiful pool. We were playing the music outside. I've never been in a pool that had like heated water. All pools are heated. Not all pools are heated, babe. Yes. Where? All pools that are like in a home or something are pools that the temperature of the water is not just whatever. You think so? (laughs) Yes. I don't think so, but okay. That one was really nice. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) We had a pool and a hot tub. Yeah, yeah, we did. So we after were, the we were pool, living it up. Yeah, I know it was really, really nice. I was FaceTiming from the pool. Yeah, I've me never, too. I was in the hot tub facing FaceTiming my mom and my sister. I've never even done shit like that. What? Like if being on FaceTime and nighttime in a nice ass house in a pool. Yeah, exactly. So I was talking to my sister and my mom, and I was telling them what I was doing. And you know, it's so funny because at first my mom thought that because when when my sister showed her the screen of me being in the pool. And holding the the camera like this, my mom thought it was fake. Like my mom thought it was like a like a one of those filters. Oh, for you, like you had a filter on. Yeah, like a filter that makes it seem like you're swimming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so then my sister, I think it's it was my sister. She was like, "Yeah, you know, like look where Yoni is," at. and she thought that my sister was joking. Like oh. she thought that she set up the thing. And then like the whole time, I'm like, I'm. I'm in the pool, you know, I'm just like relaxing and Ali's over there. And, and then my mom was like, yeah, but like, it's not real water. <laughs> and then she was like, she's like, go like this with the water. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, it was so funny. I don't know if she was joking or not, but it, but I thought, she, I think she was serious. Like mm. she thought it was like a filter. I mean, filter. for like being in, if, if you didn't tell them that, if you didn't tell her that we were going on this trip, I didn't. then she, I don't she, think she, why would she think that it's real, you know? Because it is kind of random. That is That was so funny. So anyway, so then we got in the hot tub. The hot, the water was like, 
like a million degrees. Yeah, I think with the hot tub, you have to, especially because it was pretty cold out at that point. So we couldn't even be in the pool anymore because it was too cold. So we had to go in the hot tub. But the body temperature difference between, you know, your body and the hot tub was so drastic that it felt like boiling water. I think it was boiling water, babe. What's boiling water? What's the temperature? 200 Fahrenheit. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't boiling. That's like, what? <laughs> it's fucked up. No, but that water was so hot. I feel like I could make tea in that water. <laughs> I mean, you could probably make some tea. Yeah. Um, and we ended up like lowering the temperature. But I think like once you get in it, even though it hurts a little bit, your it will feel good and your body will adjust. It uh, did because you ended up getting inside. Eventually, I got in it, but I couldn't put I couldn't put my strongest toe in that water. Yeah, like, yo, it was. <laughs> That was cute. Um, and then we were just, you know, hanging out in the hot tub. It was amazing. Like, it yeah. really, I forgot how, I feel like in my mind, hot tubs were underrated. And now I'm yeah. going to say hot tubs are the shit. Yeah. And the hot tub w is outside the house. Yes. So it's like outside the house in the sense that. You're just outside in the wild. Okay? Anyone can come down the hill from the main road mm -hmm. and like come around the corner and snatch you up right so yeah. i'm done with the hot tub i'm ready to get this night over with you know i had a good time yeah, I was ready to get FaceTime. Inside. yeah i'm ready to get inside and i want to take a shower because you know the water the pool all that i, I don't want to go to bed like that just yeah. you know so i'm like okay babe um let's go <laughs> she's like and i was like no i'm not ready i, I wanted to look at the, i realized that you could see the stars really well so i turn off like the lights outside and i turn off the the hot tub light so she turns can, like, all, all the lights off yeah, and I'm just like looking at the stars. I was like, this is so nice. I don't want to get out yet. And I'm standing by the door. I'm like, yeah, but I think like I'm about to shower. Basically, I was worried that somebody's going to come and snatch Ali up. Yeah, and, just leave and I was you. just like, who is, first of all, nobody's going to come here. It's dark. We don't know this town or what happens here. Okay, but also, before, we're in the house. Listen, before you got in the shower, when you were FaceTiming your mom and your sister and you were in the pool, I was in the hot tub by myself. See, I didn't even know that. No, you just didn't think about it. You knew I was in the hot tub because you kept trying to get in and it was too hot. So then you kept leaving. True, true, But I was true, in the true, hot tub true. by myself. Music was playing. Lights were on. That, that right there is the recipe of like a disaster that could happen and I would have no idea it happened. Well, either way, I was by myself already. So then when you kept like... You you would leave, and then be like, "Okay, babe, like, are you coming?" And I'm like, "Bro, just can I be here?" So I didn't get in the shower until Ali got out the yeah, out the water. You were just being annoying, so I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna just get out." Because I don't know why, for some reason, I couldn't let myself take a peaceful shower while Ali is outside in the hot tub with all the lights off. She's just enjoying the stars you know like, i appreciate it. it shows it shows how much you care. But I don't know. I'm just I'm not like scared like that. I just don't. It's not even me being scared, but I'm just like, how are you not scared? Because the because that just wouldn't happen. But everybody thinks that shit wouldn't happen until it happens. Like in the scary movies. You know what's so funny? Yoni Yoni is this cautious about this, but when we're walking on the city on a uh, New York City night or or day or whatever on the street, and there's like someone you know, like a guy that's kind of weird, that's kind of yelling and shit like that. Yoni doesn't try to cross the street. Doesn't try to like get away from that vibe. He'll walk right by him. Okay. To me, that's, that's where I'm more cautious. When I'm in the middle of nowhere, there this town is hella small. Most of the people that live here are renting out their homes. And like... I just don't think that somebody would just come around the corner and stab me to death in the hot tub. Nah, to me, that sounds more realistic than fucking the, the weird guy on the street. Uh, you guys let us know. Let you us think. know because I think, again, people are going to agree, agree with me right here. I doubt it. Because, okay, this is my question to you. If you were Alia, would you stay outside just enjoying the stars in the hot tub by yourself while... while the other person you're with is somewhere on the other side of the house taking a shower. First of all, you weren't on the other side of the house. You were in the bedroom, which is exactly next to the hot tub. Okay, but it's still far away. It's still away from you. Okay. I don't know. My would, sister said would, my sister said she would never do that. She couldn't like she wouldn't be able to do that. Well, that's you guys. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, that's not just us. Watch the comments. That's everybody. You know what's funny? My what? mom would be exactly like me. 
<laughs> no, I'm sure. <laughs> my mom would just be like, yeah, I'm going to hang out here. What? Yeah, no. Mm-mm. I'm, you're out, I'm out. Okay, well, I ended up coming out because you were just ruining the vibe. I was like, I can't even enjoy the stars. No, I was just like. I just wanted to be there in some silence, in that warm water, look at the stars. Maybe I'm so overthinking beautiful. it. Maybe it's just like a me thing, but it's. But I'm sure there's like way more people who probably. Think but like also, that nobody too. came to the house. I know, so that's good. We made it. Yeah, so you should it just was, left me alone. It was a successful night. <laughs> Anyways, and that was it the same night that we made s'mores? That was the same night we made No, I think it was s'mores. the next one. It was the next night, but either way. Yeah, Alia, for some reason, she thinks that you can make s'mores on a, a gas stove. Okay, so which for context, what happened? What happened? I was really looking forward to some s'mores, okay? I love a good s'more. I don't eat a lot of them because I think just when you put it together it's kind of you know it's a good amount of yeah. what it is so i eat like maybe two or three s'mores if you don't know what s'mores are they're this like i think they're american yeah american, definitely american thing. Yeah. um where you take a marshmallow you put it on a stick you put it over a fire usually outside <laughs> so like a bonfire or something like that mm -hmm. and then the marshmallow gets roasty toasty on the outside nice and melty on the inside roasty toasty and then you take a graham cracker you break it in half so you have two pieces perfect what is, squares what did you say ground cracker Ground. and then you take a piece of hershey's milk chocolate it has to be sure hershey's okay you break about three three little brackets brickets bricks <laughs> you put it on the graham cracker and then you sandwich the marshmallow on the stick with the two oh, yeah, graham crackers and chocolate and you pull out the stick and then you squish it down and the marshmallow oozes out and it's beautiful and then that's what a s'more is if you don't know so that's what you wanted to make but we couldn't do that because it was raining and the wood got wet yes and it kept raining and we just couldn't be outside in the bonfire while it was raining because it wasn't covered by anything all right we had a fireplace a fire what do you call it a, a bonfire yeah a bonfire no in the, in in our space in our house yeah that's still a bonfire if it's in the house. <laughs> no, oh, that, oh, that's a uh, fireplace. Exactly. That's what I said. You said bonfire. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I thought you were talking about what was outside. No, inside. Yeah. So <laughs> outside was a bonfire. It was raining. So the actual bowl where you make the fire was wet. <laughs> so we couldn't make it. And then I was thinking <laughs> inside the house, there was a fireplace. But it was a gas fireplace. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, maybe we'll make the s'mores in the fireplace. Okay. And why didn't we? <laughs> because it kind of seemed like you don't do that. Okay. So what's the difference between doing that and doing it on a gas stove? The difference is mm -hmm. that the gas stove is a way smaller. So we, so basically, I came to the idea that I was like, oh, but we have a gas stove, which has a flame. So we can just turn on one of the little gas eye things and like use the fire there to roast the marshmallow. Okay. The difference between that and the fireplace that's also gas powered is the fireplace is way more fire. And also when you turned on the fireplace. It way more fire. So what are you expecting in a bonfire? We're not even talking about the bonfire anymore. I know, but your argument is that it's more fire. It's more fire than the little gas stove. Okay. So it's like I wanted to be able to turn it on and off easily. Mm. And the fireplace, it's like you have to press the button, it turns off, then it turns on. Yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah. lot of fire. Versus the gas stove is way, it's it's something that you turn on and off way quicker and easier. It's more efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's Mm -hmm. So I just was like, you know, we're just going to do it on the gas stove. And again, like the hot tub, Yoni was like, no, you don't do that. Because People it's don't gas. do that. It's, it's not just like fire that's like burning from a piece of wood. Okay. It's gas. That is making, that is burning into fire. I'm not smoking my marshmallow with gas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But to me, it's just so weird to, I feel like. But what do you do when you're you, when you're cooking at the gas stove, when you're making eggs? Okay, I'm not cooking the eggs straight on the fire, right? Okay, but you're acting as if the gas is seeping into the food. That's not what, how it works. Seems like that. So. Seems like If it. you guys want to actually see this whole 
scenario happened we hmm. posted on the patreon yoni posted oh, yeah. some videos we took of this exact moment oh. so you can get some really really um authentic yes. experience if you want to see how this conversation went in real life our patron is like i'm gonna put it on the screen so. yeah and it's it's linked in the description of whatever you're listening or watching so you can like really see the and the let raw us know footage. what you think yeah i just don't think I had a lot of people that responded to my story saying that they do that all the time. Okay, so Nicholas said he does that too. Yeah. Like, I think I it's don't know. It's a we normal... Were... I think you just don't really understand how it works. It's like you're not eating the gas. The gas... Yeah, but the uh, gas is getting in your marshmallow. No, it's not. I don't know. I've never done that, but I got to be honest. A lot because of people Because the gas say... is burning into fire. Okay, but it was still gas at one point. Anyways, that's just how I am. And he still ate the marshmallow and the s'more. So I ate like two of them. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it was pretty good. Was, gotta be honest. It was really good. But something about it was like I'm, I'm, I'm eating something I'm not supposed to eat. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's not like it's supposed to be. It's not healthy or anything. But yeah. I was just, it, it was the perfect it was place good. to have. And I, and I, and I do appreciate you finding a solution to make s'mores. And it was, it was, it wasn't it was as a good cute time. as I wanted it to be. You know, I really wanted to get like a cute shot because I also filmed a little YouTube video of this. So, oh, you can also see that on Patreon, by the way. Um, what? Of you filming the YouTube? Oh yeah, but um, I was gonna say something and I forgot. I wanted to get a cute shot of like yeah. us at the bonfire, like making s'mores. Well, you could have got that. You could have got that on the gas stove and just explain what happened. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I could have. Yeah. And that's about it, honestly. Yeah. What is the conclusion of this of this uh, trip that okay. we went on? The conclusion of this trip is that when you go get Airbnb, it was sure an Airbnb, you, but yeah. Okay, you make sure you lock the doors <laughs> and don't be in a hot tub by yourself outside at midnight. And then two, s'mores on the gas stove, you guys, I'm sorry. Those are just my two takeaways from, from this. No, okay, no, no. What's no. the conclusion of the s'more? The conclusion is don't do that shit. How is that still your conclusion? No, no, I'm just kidding. For me, for me, because I feel like we didn't really touch on this much. Okay. I would say this trip made me realize how, how much, much I, I need, need Peace and quiet. <laughs> okay, I knew you were going to say that. No, it's very true because we, when we were on the way back to... New York. New York City. We were taking the train. We were and riding we're, the train. We were still in the wilderness. And at this time, we're sitting together. And Elia looks over at me and she's like, I don't know why I feel kind of anxious. Just getting back to New York City. Like the city. Because and it also means getting back to the grind, getting back to the routine, getting back to the back to back to back work video content. Ah, 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 <laughs> you know? Right. And I got to, I mean, I agree with you. And because even though we were there, we, st we were still working. We were still working. But it's but a it was... different vibe. It's like you, you, when you work, like when I was like editing my photos there, I felt so like just calm. Yeah. It's like I, I made like, myself a little coffee. It was so quiet. It was quiet. so nice. But when you're here, and I'm glad we came here, you know, first year, it was perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, love yeah. the energy here. It makes us work that much harder. It makes you, it makes you want to work when you live here, you know, because yeah. everybody is working. Yeah. But. When you get away for a little bit, you realize how nice peace is. <laughs> and if anything, it's also because the contrast is really drastic as was, we yeah. are in the thick of New York City. We are in the middle of this shit. Yeah, like you go outside and it's just... <laughs> and... and <laughs> what was that? Pe people talking, people walking. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I thought you made a, made a mouse noise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, those two. Um, and I don't know. It just basically made me realize how I really need a little bit more quiet. I want to have the option to go to the energy, to go to the craziness in a very accessible way. But with most of my time being spent in a more quiet, more mm. green, more slow energy. I and whenever I need, I, I want that vibe, I can go to it. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. here, I don't have a choice You're but to always it. be in it. Yeah. Um. So that's kind of the realization we had. It was just so nice. I mean, 
It was a beautiful view. It was kind of chilly a little bit in the mornings. Made like a nice cup of coffee. Made breakfast. That kitchen was like so Yo, perfect. that house, there's everything you need was in that house. And more. Like you can be in your bed and turn on the TV. You can be in your bed and turn on the heater. I mean, whatever you need. Yeah, it was the like a music. Smart home. It was like each room in that house had a speaker. So with it, with it, with this iPad that they had all around the house, you can just like select the the volume or like where do you want the music to play? Do you want it in the living room? Do you want it in the kitchen? How loud want, in each room? Yeah, do you want it outside by the pool? Okay, let's turn that one off because we're in the bedroom now. It was it was crazy. Yeah, it was. Uh, it makes you realize that there's actually people that live like this all the time. Yeah, and just that system alone, I think that alone is a million dollars just to have the all like set up. I feel like a million is a lot. It like is. just for the music thing i don't think it's like a million that's crazy mm. no 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 there's no way but they, it had a bunch of other things i don't know but the house was crazy the whole experience was crazy um if you guys want to like actually see more of like what it looked like what we were up to just visually i did make um a visual diary of us being there and uh, i think it's really nice and peaceful and you already posted it no, I'm actually, I have to edit it today. So oh. I think it might be going live tomorrow, which is also when this episode is going live. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Yeah. I just got to finish it. But um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. This is the thing. I think, let us know if you want us to do more of these things. Like anytime, I think, you know what? Actually, I'm going to finish my thought. Let us know if you want to do uh, more of these, like more stories, because I feel like I really enjoy it just telling the story of mm-hmm. the things that we did, like super detailly. But also, um, we just need to do more things like that. Yeah, I mean, the more things you do, the more stories you have to tell. Yeah, and then like, I feel like we can just talk about, it's almost like we can talk about just anything for like an hour now. Mm-hmm. And we just went there for like a few days. So I feel like, let's make it like a priority to like- Have know, more stories. Yeah, and go somewhere more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally hear you. Because we have new things to talk about. This season has been the most story heavy season so far. Yeah. True. You know, because I also like how sometimes we'll be taking like a we're we have a topic that is based on a story. Yes. You know, so it's like intertwined with right. what we're talking about. That's like a bigger message, but it's origin the from the story. Yeah. yeah. Or just tell the whole story. Or that too. Like whenever we're going to go to Philly, Philadelphia, we're going to do another episode like that. Yeah, of course. Anywhere we're going to go. Yeah. So um, thank you guys for listening. Um, We hope you have a great rest of your day. Shout out to everyone that is still tuning in every week. We love you. Appreciate you. Um, Let us know if you guys have any topics, things that are coming up that you want us to talk about that seem relevant to... I don't know of the summer, today's society. Warmer days. Okay, today's society. Yeah. Things that are going on. We're recording this as the Met Gala just happened, which is cool. Any thoughts on the Met Gala? Should we do that on Patreon? I feel like, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really care that much. You kept showing me outfits. Yeah, I like put it on to just, I put it on because it's just cool to see like who shows up who they show up with and what they wear and it's crazy that everyone is in town right now like yeah. everyone is like here yeah um and then i just kind of judge people's outfits hmm. is it on theme is it not on theme is it like look good does it not is it on theme? <laughs> bye, Anyways, bye. uh we're gonna head over to patreon and we're gonna talk about oof we're gonna talk some about beef <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna talk about some beefity beef why do you just call it like that i don't know drake versus kendrick lamar if you want slash wanna... a little bit of j cole because he exited way back yeah j cole did a good thing by exiting early and yeah. i love j cole and we'll talk all about it yeah we're gonna talk all about that on patreon we ran out of time today and then because otherwise honestly we could have done it here but our thing would have been like two yeah, hours too long. long. We always yeah. try to keep around the. And week. then if we do it next week, it's gonna be way too late and not relevant. So, um, Drake thank versus you guys for Kendrick listening. Lamar. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> listening. Shout out to every. I was talking and Ali was no, like, I "Okay, bye." I thought you were saying so, yeah. And I thought you were gonna conclude it, but then you just. All right, shout out to everybody's dog. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week or on Patreon if you want to hear some. Uh, some juicy stuff exactly have a great rest of your day all right bye guys bye